They are a great choice once again for the autumn plants. While the weather is getting colder and colder, we tend to get warmer and warmer in our hearts. And a way to cultivate this magic of the autumn is to decorate your home. And of course, for us plant parents, the best way to decorate our homes is with plants. So today's video will be focusing on plants that can make you feel like autumn. Let's get started with my background. First of all, here, the first plants are begonias. Begonias have so many different patterns, colors, and of course, a lot of them focus on the red and black colors, which is the colors of autumn. Silvery hues can also bring some more magic to the atmosphere. And of course, the under red leaves are wonderful too. Begonias have so many varieties that you can have unlimited choices with what you're going to put in your house. They tend to look great in offices, living rooms, and even kitchens. I really like to put my begonias in the kitchen this time of the year because it has a lot of light and looks wonderful and makes the place feel like autumn. The next plant that if you've seen my Instagram pictures, I've put a post about it is crotons. Crotons are the best this time of the year. I believe that they are the signature of the season, of this season, because they have the warmest colors ever seen in plants. They have yellow, they have orange, dark green, red. They are wonderful and you can put them almost everywhere. They are really easy plants. If you don't feel like getting something that is a bit harder, they are really easy to take care of and you won't fail with crotons. They make the house look really warm and really unique because all these patterns and these stripes, they look amazing. If you can't buy a lot of plants, maybe crotons are the choice for you this season because with one plant, you can change the whole style of your home. The next one is Mikans, and I will do you a favor and not so my really tiny little Mikans that I've been sewing in all these videos. I am going to show you these Mikans here that I had on our living room. It is wonderful. This one didn't get as much light as I wanted, so the dark side is not really visible. Mikans tend to have a really great red, dark red hue and velvety look. Mikans are something really unique and I have to say here that every velvety plant will do great. You can also make some uh, kind of arrangement by putting all the velvety plants together. For example, a verrucosum that has the undertone, the, the under of the leaf in a red tone will look also amazing, but I don't have one to show you here. If autumn reminds you of fairy tales, then ivy plants are the best plants for you because there is no fairy tale without a small touch, a sprinkle of some ivy plants because they are wonderful, especially when you spray them. Ivies have a lot of species. You can choose a lot of colors, a lot of shapes, and they make great terrarium plants, but we are not talking about terrariums here, are we? When you let them climb up, fences or maybe some furniture like a um, bookshelf or something they look amazing and they tend to survive really well i have great success with ivy our whole garden is full of ivy but we tend to get some pots inside the house every year 
because I really love and my father loves really much the ivy so the house is full of them. What are your favorite autumn plants? Write in the comment below and maybe we can make a part 2 of this video. If you really love red colored plants and during this season you must love them, Ficus ruby are a great choice. A great choice. This one doesn't have so much of um, yellow red tone but still can do the work. But I also have this huge baby here which has a lot of red and the new leaves look amazing, they look stunning and these plants I find that apart from a lot of light they need nothing. <laughs> they will do just fine. They will do just fine. You should not overwater them. They will lose their leaves and they make great choices if you want to put maybe a big plant near your door. They will look stunning and impress everyone that comes into your house. Keep that in mind. Buy some candles, it's the season now. Better if they are bio-made, you can put them right beside your plants, not when they are lit, when they are like this, no fire, you see no fire, you can put them right beside your uh, plants <laughs> and they will make it look more, you know. The next plant is Red Arrow Syngonium. This Syngonium is wonderful, especially if you can find a big pot of it. We have a really small red syngonium. The under of the leaves is really red and the upper part of the leaves is really dark green, something that really, really suits that spooky um, kind of vibe. If you want to aim for a witchy style kind of home then Red Arrow Syngonium and ZZ, the next plant on the list, the ZZ plant, but the Raven, the one that is black, is the best plant for that witchy vibe. Uh, try to decorate them maybe with a DIY broom, you know that witchy broom with the sticks, um, they will look like you are doing some really great business <laughs> some really mystical magical ethereal business should have told you about the ferns kind of earlier when i was talking about the ivy plants well the ferns are again one of the fairy tale plants that you can use in terrariums that you can decorate with crystals. I'm sorry, we have a little, little beauty here. This is my nephew named Pierce. Okay, we were trying to tell everyone about the ferns. Yes, well, ferns are wonderful if you want to decorate them, yes, first, if you want to decorate them with crystals or maybe something sparkly or put them in a terrarium or something, they are wonderful and they will make your house look magical. Well, Jay says that the next plant in the list should be nerve plants. Nerve plants and phytonia are amazing. They have really vivid colors. You can find the red if you are aiming to get plants with warm colors. I have some phytonias here that look really beautiful. I'm here. 
He won't leave me. Sam, I have some Phytonias here that really look wonderful. Again, you can put them in terrariums, you can put them maybe in a pumpkin pot. Uh, if you can find one, I was searching for pumpkin pots and I couldn't find one in like more than 10 tops. I couldn't find any pumpkin pots. This should be made a DIY. I don't know, but still, Phytonias are really cute. Hi, Jay. Yes, Phytonias are really cute. You love Phytonias. But don't let your pets eat the plants, please. The last plant on the list is Caladiums. Caladiums are wonderful, especially the red colors, because they are really vivid. Once again, do you agree? Yes, he agrees. Well, they are really wonderful. They have deep colors and you can make them survive really easily. They won't cause you any problems. So. They are a great choice once again for the autumn plants. What about autumn beds? If you've seen this far, then I want to thank you. You have with the watch retention on the channel. We have reached the 300 subscribers and I am so, so, so happy about this. Day is too. <laughs> I guess that we will close the video here. These were the most favorite plants for... Ah, uh, you wanted it. These were the most favorite plants for autumn decoration. Don't let your pet eat the plants. You are really glad that you didn't buy that plant. Because if you did bite it, I would squeeze you to... I won't squeeze you, I won't. But you should not eat the plants, Jay. Some of them are poisonous. Yes. Well, these were the autumn's favorite decorating plants. I wish all of you a wonderful autumn.